All right, so today we're going to learn about the basics in the program Paint, and we are going to do that through the drawing of a house in two different ways. So the first way that we're going to uh, <clears throat> learn how to draw a house is by using uh, the paintbrush tool. Now up here there are different brushes. There's your standard kind of uh, normal paintbrush, there's calligraphy pens, there's spray paint, a thicker paintbrush, crayon, marker, pencil, and another paintbrush. You can use whatever brush you want to, but for uh, our purposes, I'm just going to use the standard brush. Um, and now, uh, I'm going to, you can also uh, adjust the size if you want. I'm going to leave it the standard size that it comes in, the default. Um, and over here is our color palette. It comes with uh, very basic colors, your standard colors. You can also click the edit colors and add a more wide variety of colors. But I'm just going to use the given paint palette for what we are doing today. So I'm going to pick for us a blue house. So with the paintbrush, you'll notice that um, you can't always get as straight as lines as you always want um, but that's okay uh, so you can depending on the type of computer you can have you can use your touch screen you can use your mouse um, whatever works best for you so we can just draw our house nice square just like that we'll make a box for our house uh, we also need a roof on our house i'm going to pick a nice uh, black roof for us. Draw that like so. Bring bring it across. Perfect. <coughs> and uh, now we're going to draw our door. I think a red door will suit us fine. Draw a red door just like that with a yellow door handle just a little <clears throat> perfect and because our house is blue we also need blue windows we'll draw our windows just like that draw two of them amazing and uh, we can fill in our colors instead of uh, grabbing the paintbrush and coloring it in like that but that will take forever and will always be messy uh, we can go up here to this paint bucket as you can see it pops up with the fill with color you click on that uh, like before with the paintbrush we choose our color uh, we're choosing black to fill in our roof and you just click on all of the areas that you need to be filled in. Uh, it doesn't always work perfectly, um, but we can take our eraser, uh, change the size of our eraser, uh, we'll make it thick, and erase the spots where it kind of isn't looking perfect. Like that and we will fill those in again and that is looking much better than it did before all right and then we're going to fill in our house oh dear I'm going to try that again we need to connect all of these lines to make a firm box close that off and then we will close this off. Yeah, keep that in mind. Whenever you are wanting to fill in things, um, always make sure that you make it into a closed box. Otherwise, um, oh, and if you always make a mistake, uh, you don't want to uh, hit Control Z on a PC or Command Z if you are on a Macintosh. And we'll try to fill this in again. Now that worked a lot better. And then we're gonna fill in our door. And there is our house being drawn the first way. Uh, the second way we can do it, it is a lot neater, has more uh, firm straight lines. We can go up into this shape panel that is up here. 
And so to make our house, uh, we'll make it the same color scheme as before. Um, to make the main part of our house, we'll select the rectangle. And then you just kind of click and drag. And we can make it as big as we want. We'll make it about there. You can use the rectangle again and make small windows like we did before. Window there and a window there. Uh, we will make a door also using also using the rectangle. We want this to be blue. Click over here. And now we can make our red door. Like so, and then our door handle, we we'll use the oval, make it yellow, and it just needs to be small, like that. And then for our roof, we go up to the triangle, and we make it large enough, we can do it wherever and move it so it fits, we'll make it black to fit. And then we can use these line segments for making the lines in our windows. Draw a line down like so, and across. We'll do the same over here. And then go back up to this paint bucket, and we will fill it. As you can see, the using the shapes, the lines fill in. Uh, much easier than uh, it did when we were drawing. So those are the two different ways to draw a house um, in paint and kind of going over the basics of the program. Uh, you can do many different things. You can draw whatever you want, be creative. Um, just for this lesson, I was just focusing on uh, drawing a house.